Our motoring tip of the week concerns block heaters. Now, if you're from Western Canada, if you're a motorist in Western Canada, you know all about block heaters. They're a way of life. Winnipeg, Manitoba, there's an outlet in front of almost every parking space in that city. In Eastern Canada, we're not so up on them. And it's, it's a valuable resource as a mechanic to have that block heater, and many vehicles have them factory installed. And the domestic cars are much better than the imports in terms of giving you a block heater as standard equipment on a lot of cars for the Canadian market. Our O2 Yukon, coiled up on the left frame rail just inside a left front tire. We've been using it for years. You gotta know where to look for it though. Now, the block heater heats up the engine coolant. It's an element, in many cases, in older cars like this, immersed right in the engine coolant. Basically heats up all the engine coolant and thereby the whole engine makes starting easier and cuts down wear in your engine and reduces emissions. Now, as a mechanic, it's a valuable tool. If a car comes in flooded, won't start, maybe it's way past due for a tune-up or the injectors were dirty or for whatever reason, it's flooded and it's a no start in sub-zero temperature, this is by far the best way to get it going amongst the other repairs that you have to make. But this is the first thing I look for. So something you want to look into, if it's factory installed, great. If you want to do it as a retrofit, it's gotten easier over the years, but it's a great way to warm up that engine. Now just keep in mind though, they use a lot of hydro. A small engine, a four cylinder, 400 watts, a big V8 like this, 600 watts. That's a lot of power consumption. You only want to run it for about an hour and never more than four hours because it plateaus or maxes out at four hours. So a timer is a really good thing or maybe you plug it in when you get up for breakfast, let it run for 45 minutes or an hour. Really efficient way to warm your engine up, cut wear, cut wear and tear on your engine in that critical cold start period. That's your motoring tip of the week.